Hello, I'm here to demonstrate the script that I just made for uh, per uh, uh, closing purchase orders in my QuickBooks um, automatically with an auto IT script. So this is how it works. Uh, I've got this purchase order closer um, little application that I wrote uh, and I've got my QuickBooks which should already be open. It looks like it's it is here. Uh, before I started this, I had a ton of purchase orders. Right now, it's it's been greatly reduced because as I've been going through it, I've been wiping thing, these things out as I tested my uh, as I tested my app or whatever. But the way it works is you have to have this screen open, and the script goes in and it double clicks one of these purchase orders. As you can see, there's there's nothing going on on this. It's an old it's an old date. You actually can't see the screen here let me move it there's an old date it's from 528 so obviously we never actually used it uh, and you know so it's not going to be converted into a useful bill for us and we don't we're never going to need to pay it because we probably just paid it with a check before so anyway what I want to do is I wanted to go through I wanted the script to go through and see if either of these two things were checked I wanted it to come through and uncheck them so that they were no longer in a print queue or an email queue so I wanted to go through and uncheck them and then check that it would be closed which would basically void the purchase order so that you can't turn it into a bill anymore and it doesn't show up as an open purchase anymore purchase order anymore with uh, which would be associated with one of your vendors so just to prove that this thing works I'm gonna click these two to be printed and to be emailed uh, and once again I've got my screen setting kinda so and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna save and close it and then uh, as you can see, when you save and close, when you make these sort of changes and you save and close, these dialog boxes pop up and bother you. So, uh, do you, you know, want to email this thing again? And I'm going to say no, and then it, it lets me come back to here. But uh, depending on what was going on with the document before, there are all sorts of uh, different dialog boxes that come up and stuff like that. So I had to prepare for those as I as I was writing the program. So. Let's see, I'm going to minimize my QuickBooks. I'm going to uh, come over here to the purchase order closer. Double click it. It gives me the option to close purchase orders or just exit. If I just click exit, it exits. I have to reopen. So, close purchase orders. The first thing it asks me is how many times would I like this loop to function? So, uh, or how many times would I like to loop this function? If you change this number, it will close, you know, if you do it twice, it'll close two purchase orders. If you do it once, it'll only close one. It always starts at the top and then works its way through. So let's just do one, and you can see it work its magic here. There it goes. It's unchecking printed an email. It just automatically dealt with all those dialog boxes, and we're back to where we started. Um, so now, just to show you that I can go through now, and just this 530, 601, 6316, all these empty purchase orders, I'm just going to... Uh, I'll close 10 of them this time, which, yeah, should, let's see here, so there we go, it's closing them, telling them not to be emailed, look, that case we had, uh, see a lot of these aren't in the printed or emailed queue, but it um, doesn't matter, it still just closes them. There it is doing its thing. One thing that you might notice is there is, I did have to use mouse positioning in this to open that first purchase order because I couldn't figure out um, how to do it with a command control. Uh, okay, well, that's it. That, that's it. It just went through and uh, wiped out 10 of those purchase orders, it looks like. Uh, So yeah, there's a couple of weak things about this code. The fact that I'm using mouse positioning to open open stuff is is suboptimal, especially since this is on a server and the mouse position changes depending on what monitor your client computer is accessing the server from. But anyway, uh, it's a useful little script. I could probably use it just as easily for you know open item receipts or anything else like that. So uh, that is my first script, and I'm looking forward to getting better at doing this and being able to do it with do more useful things in the future. Okay, bye.